So this is a, a, something that should be on our minds all the time to want to, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to pray in that masjid. And we have to be a part in helping free that area. What gives them the right to come into Palestine, take it over, kill and kick out the indigenous people? What is their claim to it? What is their reasoning behind it? They're trying to claim that they've been there 3,000 years ago. Well, guess what? The cannons, which are Arab tribes, We've been there 5,000 years ago. So if you're going to have any historical claim to it because you were there first, you think, well, then you got to go to the canons, which is in the Bible. They were there 5,000 years ago, 2,000 years almost before anybody from Beni Israel came. Goliath, right? With a rock, subhanAllah, <laughs> with a rock, he kills, he kills Jalut. SubhanAllah, the first intifada, the first uprising in Palestine was with rocks. Netanyahu will come into Congress and say, we were there 3,000 years ago. If you look at the whole history, they didn't spend more than, I would say max, you give them 200 years. Any time they spent in Palestine, and it was never consecutive. They actually never completed one generation in Palestine, not even one generation. So what right does it give you to tell, to come in 19, 47, 1948 and in the early immigration and say my book says this is my land promised to me so I'm going to kill you and you have to get out because I was here 3,000 years ago. It was with rocks, you know, and it got a lot of attention and it actually was very effective and they saw the effectiveness of it and that's why they wanted to quell the Intifada by having peace and it quelled Intifada. But I believe we would have been a lot further if we continued with no peace till we get all of our rights. Yes. Most of the people right now in occupied Palestine, they call it Israel, are not originally Bani Israel. They're mostly European. And the European Jews inside Palestine are treated like the first class citizens. The actual. They're, they're actually, their ancestors, they're not even the children of Israel. They're yes. actually from Russia. Yes, so correct. The second point for the Muslims here who think that this is a Palestinian issue, an Arab issue. In the, in, the, in the 70s, Menachem Begin, the Prime Minister of Israel, he actually said Mecca belonged to us because it, it is where Ibrahim alayhi salam built it, and he's our grandfather. These people, they're on the Knesset, as you know. Yes. The land of Israel is from the Nile to the Equator. Yeah, I mean, some dispute it, but some even say their flag. When you see that the flag with the Star of David has the two rivers of the Nile and the Euphrates, some have said disputed it, but you know, yes, there's a lot of narrations that say that. Yeah. Yeah. They were willing to settle anywhere. They wanted a homeland for the Jews. They were willing to settle anywhere. They considered Uganda, Alaska, even Argentina. They really didn't care, but they thought the easiest way to sell was Jerusalem and Palestine. We have no problem with the Jews or the Christians. That's why I always say Zionists. Sometimes it's kind of people, especially old school, would confuse the two and say the Jews, the Jews, because most of them are, uh, there is a lot of Jews that are Zionists. So that kind of, but when you say anti-Semitism, we're actually Semites as well. So they took that for themselves, but that's from Sam, the son of Nuh So we are actually Semites. BDS is boycott, divestment, and sanctions on the state of Israel. What that is, is they produce a list of certain companies that you should boycott uh, because these companies uh, have either money or some form of influence in Israel. That way, when you boycott these groups, you're taking money away from them because of the illegal actions that they've been doing. Unfortunately, many of us purchase dates that come from Israel without knowing. Uh, what happens is Israel has date uh, farms in the West Bank and what they do on those farms is they use child labor, Palestinian children labor, where they don't pay them as well as they should and they take, uh, they, uh, they give them uh, in, a, in unhumane uh, conditions to work in. So these kids are working very long hours, not getting paid enough, not getting breaks. So because of that, people started boycotting these dates. When it comes to working with these organizations, um, it's, it's not really 
it's not our goal as an organization to go talk to these people. Um, in the case of J Street, actually, J Street is just a, uh, a liberal Zionist organization. They still believe in the occupation. Uh, they still believe America should support Israel. They just don't support everything Israel does. So a lot of these organizations are like that. AMP works with Jewish organizations that are against the occupation. Uh, one of our closest allies is actually a group in uh, uh, a, a national group called the Naturi Carta, which are uh, which are Jewish people who are against the occupation of Palestine. So when we say BDS, the first thing people think about is just boycotting Israel, boycotting Israeli products. What actually you have is divesting, means to take your money, anything that has anything to aid the occupation, instead of investing your money in those companies, what do you do? You divest. So we always talk about only boycotting, but there's divest. And what's the third one? Is sanctions. So the sanctions take many different forms. Sanctions is means we're not, we're gonna sanction is we have nothing to do with Israel. So we've, they've gotten a lot of, for example, singers that were supposed to play in occupied Palestine, Israel, to sanction Israel and say, you know what? I'm not gonna go sing in Israel. When the BDS movement reach out to them, when people from the Solidarity Movement from Palestine reach out to them and say, you're playing in Israel. Do you know what's going on in Israel? They sanctioned them, didn't go. NFL prayers, they wanted them to go on this tour in Israel, Palestine, occupied Palestine, Israel, I don't like calling it that. They, the, some NFL players said, you know what, you're not going to use me as a propaganda tool. I'm not going to occupied Palestine, Israel. There are products uh, e uh, the, that uh, originate maybe from American companies, uh, but these companies support Israel uh, by huge donations. And we should be careful about the products that we are using because every time we purchase from them, a portion of it would go to Israel. And a lot of the, uh, maybe a lot of the things that we have in our homes and that we perhaps use in the masjid come from such companies. Check Poland Spring Waters, for example. Poland Spring, which uh, we, we, that's the main type of water that we have here, right, in the masjid. These are people who support Israel. Some, you know, donations, constantly giving donations to them. Any of those companies that are, uh, you know, supporting Israel, that are giving donations to Israel and so on, we should not support their products. We should not buy from them at all. Individually, families, as well as the masjid, should not buy from them.